There was nothing Texas about this Texas. That is not a Texas death match. That was a death match. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you know wire that. I know match. that. That is not the traditional <laughs> Texas death match. Why did they just not have the guts to say, you know what? We're going to have a death match, and one of these men may actually die. They bled <laughs> enough. They could have. Yeah. I I have uh, been fortunate, I guess I would say, is the word, to be involved in an absolute bloodbath with John Moxley of my own. <laughs> and this was on another level of violence compared to the match that I had with him in Defy. There were, there were times during this, I mean, John Moxley liked a triangle choke on Adam Page. It may have been a reverse triangle choke, which is also a, a, technically a, a good move. Uh, but he was stabbing him in the forehead. A move that you could work. You could easily work this by holding the fork and not exposing the edge. But this guy was squirting blood. John Box was stabbing him in the forehead. Five minutes into the match. Take that, June like Kasai. I- <laughs> you wuss. Yeah. June Kasai and El Desperado had what I would say was the best match of 2022. Right? Yes, but they I had argue that, and I would call that a life match. The story and the lesson was that deathmatch wrestlers go into the match, and the match is not over until they come home alive. John Moxley and Adam Page apparently do not subscribe to that theory whatsoever. <laughs> no, because they tried to end each other's lives. John Moxley was hung by the hangman, well hung over the top of the rope and tapped out one of the top stars. It was a theme of the evening. One of the top stars of AEW tapped out to lose, but it was awesome. I didn't expect it. I thought he was going to hang him over there and it would be nasty. It would be brutal. It would be disgusting, but he would be out cold, but no, he put his hand up there and he tapped and hangman page for people on the outside who are not diehard AEW fans, I think sometimes they go, they don't get it with him and they don't realize that, look, you can do a lot with Hangman Page and he's got enough credibility built up among fans where I'm not saying he's bulletproof, but you know what? People are willing to bend a lot for this guy. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Somebody needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. Boo! You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.